Hello and welcome. This video will provide an overview of how to create and export a last 30 days report for your eMarket and Transact Campus e-commerce. This report will show all transactions, including refunds and voids within your eMarket for the last 30 days. Let's get started. To access Transact Campus, select the Transact Campus button located on Treasury's website. Log in to Transact Campus. Note, the client code should autofill. For training purposes, I am using the Transact Campus training environment so the client code says train. You will know you're signing into production when the client code says prod. This will be the same on the home screen. For this video, the word training is listed. You will know you're in production if the word production is on the home screen. Select Reports. Select Daily Paid Item Report. Select Customize. Set Duration to Last 30 Days. Note, if your eMarket takes payments by invoice, check the Transaction Status Memo or Transactions that were paid for by invoice will not appear. Under the Format section, there are two boxes of information categories referred to as Detail Fields. The left box contains all the fields from all eMarkets, and the right box contains the fields that will be included in your report. Out of the Detail Fields that are included, you really only need Item Code and Transaction Number, so you can click the others to select them and use the arrow buttons to move them to the left box. At the very bottom of the left box, there is a list of default detail fields that are available for all eMarkets. Now we will go over the most common fields used in eMarkets and how they appear on storefronts. If needed, you can check your eMarket storefront to see if any of these are included. Use the arrows to add the necessary fields to the right side box. The following categories appear as open text fields. Name underscore G, F name and L name, email underscore G, PHNUM, ADDR underscore G, comp name, Bronco ID, city underscore G, and zip underscore G. State underscore G asks customers for their state. It appears as a drop down menu where customers can select their state. If there are other fields present on your eMarket storefront that don't fall into these categories, they are probably listed with a prefix. Scroll through the left side box until you see the five digit department ID prefix for your eMarket. There should be a list of detail fields that match the information boxes on your eMarket storefront. These will vary by eMarket, but you may be able to guess the name of the detail field based on what the customer sees. For example, if your department ID is 90401, and one of the boxes on the eMarket asks the customer to enter their attendee names, then you might want the detail field named 90401-ATTENNAMES. Do not select the entry starting with an M. Next, make sure to check the box labeled Check to include page headers and define charting in export file. This box ensures that the categories in your report will be labeled at the top when you export a report. Select OK. Select Save As and name your report in whatever format will help you remember what it is. Keep in mind that you're not saving a specific report here so much as the group of settings. This way you won't have to redo these steps each time. Your saved personal reports will appear in the top left corner of the reports list next time you access the reports menu. In the drop-down menu labeled Select Format in the upper left corner, 
select a file type that you would like to export the report to. We recommend using the comma delimited.csv if you will be needing to sort or filter the report. Select export to file and the download of the selected file will start. Thank you for watching this video on creating and exporting a last 30 days report for your eMarket and Transact Campus e-commerce. This video is to get you started. If you have questions that have not been answered or need support with setting up your report, please reach out to marketplace at boisestate.edu or visit the Bronco Hub Training Portal Marketplace website linked in the description section of this video.